Okay, I'm gonna get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be. There's a new horizon. There are two people holding hands here. There are two people behind them. I feel like, I don't know if you're planning to become like a best man, best woman, a mermaid. That's not called a mermaid. That's called something else. I couldn't remember what it's called. <laughs> um, what are those ladies? They just support the bride. So, yes. <laughs> okay, that was... Um, I see two desires coming through. One of them is coming through really fast. And this involves a person. The second one involves money. The money one is actually coming through. Um, but it has sometimes bridesmaid. Bridesmaid. <laughs> Not a mermaid. <laughs> yes. So you, maybe there's going to be like that kind of an event that you're going to become a part of. But before that, I see here um, this weird creature. It just reminded me initially like... Um, crocodile but it doesn't have the mouth for it okay but it's a powerful strong animal and um, this can be like um spirit animal that is guiding you a strong animal i feel like it is like a water creature again but it has legs what is that um seals seal it doesn't really the face doesn't look like seal though capybaras they're very they're the cutest by the way and they are actually, their energy is so lit. They get along with any animal. Like you can see them riding crocodiles and you can see birds riding on their cap capybara's back. So this can be actually, uh, if you are uh, like getting messages or getting people, they want to talk to you. I see a ring here. This can mean commitment for you. Uh, so if you're getting messages from people, your friends, they want to come, uh, they, they want to meet, or maybe long-term friends that you didn't see, give it a chance because there might be something that you need to, you know, connect and you need to find out, or maybe something coming your way with that information, uh, with their um, energy. Okay, they might, they might be the path to one of your manifestations. We have the moon energy here. We have the death energy. This has awakening. The moon is actually indicating that even though it's dark, your path will be made clear, okay? You're actually, Scorpios are highly intuitive, so you're going to be guided to where you need to go. That card is a Scorpio energy, but this says awakening, so you can see the butterflies coming out of its um, cocoon. And so you are actually transforming into something new. And this is your energy. So it indicates that uh, you're going to be fully supported. We have the Pisces energy here with the hanged man and the strength energy with Leo. All of them are uh, major arcana, which means very powerful. Pisces with the hanged man actually indicates... Okay, you're going to go through a transformation. Your intuition will guide you to a transformation. You are going to leave whatever that doesn't serve you behind... This after the right away the transformation, you might have a pause. This pause is actually good for you because you're gonna be able to take your time, listen to yourself, listen to uh, maybe analyze the situation, see what's happened, and um, you know, get gather your energy. And after that, we have the strength card. This is Leo. This can be a Leo energy, Leo coming through to your life to give you a hand and help you out. Or maybe you are embodying this energy and you are manifesting something, um, you know, to upgrade your life. Even like becoming this powerhouse that you just start to get everything that you desire back to back. We have the heart chakra come for you here. The air element, it says yam as um, chant here. You can use this while you're meditating. We have two little bunnies here, which represents abundance the dove means peace so you're gonna definitely make peace with some things or some people ease and grace is the mantra here love is ge the gentle powerful presence that radiates through me when i quieten and deepen it is safe for me to be gentle and graceful i follow my heart's desire and take the path of least resistance it is easy for me to be gentle and graceful when I connect to the rhythms of the earth and the universe. I flow gently and easily. Okay, you can use this as um, affirmation throughout the week. So that will actually help you get closer to the desire that you have. 
right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give us one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye